Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to look at domain specific IoT or IoT applications. So IoT applications are numerous. Mm, we can't list every possible application of IoT and all these applications are spread across different domains and some of those domains are listed here. So you can pass for let's say uh, 10 seconds and go to the list and the applications in those domains are like this so you can pass for uh, pass the video for two or three minutes and go through all these applications across uh, different domains so we will look at each one of these things in detail now so let's start with home automation so in home automation uh, the applications are um, smart lighting uh, you can have uh, smoke and CO detection and all these things. So if you look at smart lighting, you can control the lights through your mobile application or web application. Okay. So all these lights will be connected through a hub which will receive the data uh, and send the data. And this data can be stored in the cloud and it's optional okay so this is how smart lighting works and of course uh, we have uh, different technologies for connecting your bulb with uh, router or hub or gateway so you can use any one of these things like wi-fi zigbee bluetooth or whatever so let's look at some points so smart lighting helps for saving the energy okay it will detect the intensity of the light and based on the intensity of the light it will switch on and switch off the lights and energy can be saved of course and we can operate the bulbs remotely from another location okay so Next one is smart appliances. So nowadays uh, all the appliances or um, devices are coming with IoT, IoT feature. So examples of smart appliances are TVs, refrigerators, music systems, washing machines, etc. You know you can have ACs. Okay, all right. So the smart appliances makes the management easier uh, for example if you have a smart wa washing machine you can set a schedule uh, for the washing machine when to turn on when to turn off okay when to dry the clothes all these things and so here you can see an example of smart refrigerator it can keep track of items which are there inside the refrigerator Okay, when a particular item falls short, it can notify the user. And next application in home automation is intrusion detection. So here we can use CCTV cameras uh, across the home or inside the home that is outside or inside the home. They will be connected to internet through Wi-Fi and you can monitor what is going on outside and inside your home from a remote location. So the, the intrusion detection system use cameras uh, which will be equipped with sensors and their main purpose is detecting intrusions. Okay, And they will send alerts if something happens. Uh, it can be through sound or SMS or an email. Okay. So an advanced intrusion detection system can send even an image or even a smart video clip. That is based on what kind of system you are purchasing. And last one is smoke or gas detection. 
so there will be these smoke detectors or gas detectors will be installed uh, for alerting the owners or users of the house about any smoke or harmful gas so these smoke detectors use techniques like optical detection ionization or air sampling for detecting smoke and harmful gases like carbon monoxide or lpg gases can be detected and appropriate uh, notifications or alerts can be sent to the user so next we are going to talk about applications in cities smart cities nowadays i think you are hearing this term a lot smart cities so first application is smart parking so this is a uh, very big uh, thing in uh, big cities where uh, people need to find parking slots for their cars All right so different sensors can be fixed in the parking slots parking lots and these sensors will be sending the data to a central hub or a gateway okay and this gateway will be connected to the internet where uh, the data is monitored in a server and data is analyzed and based on that uh, the data will be sent to the mobile app and the user who is driving the car in the uh, car uh, he or she can look in the mobile and see which parking lots are free across the city okay right so it makes the searching uh, searching for parking space easier okay uh, different sensors are uh, fixed in the slots as i already told you and this data is aggregated by the local hub or gateway and uh, drivers can use the application in their mobiles or any web application for looking at empty parking slots so like in home automation we can have smart lighting systems in the cities also this is a city-wide smart lighting system so it is for roads parks and buildings so the advantage is same saving energy that is automatically turning off and turning on the lights based on the ambient conditions and also the lights can be uh, uh, monitored and managed remotely they can be controlled remotely so next application is smart roads okay so here the roads will be equipped with different sensors and the data from these sensors can be used to alert the users uh, about the poor driving conditions or traffic congestion or uh, if any accidents have taken place ahead okay and divert the users into some other route so all the data is sent through internet and this very much helps in reducing traffic jumps okay right and last application in smart city is structural health monitoring so by structural health uh, i mean the health of buildings okay right so again uh, different sensors are used to monitor the vibration levels in the structures uh, it can be a building a bridge or any other kind of construction so data from the sensors can be analyzed to assess the health of the structures so long before the building uh, collapses we can know that uh, this building is uh, going to collapse in the near future and we, we can take appropriate action so we can detect cracks and also locate damages to the structures and we can also calculate the remaining life of the structure and okay last application in smart city is surveillance 
so we have seen surveillance system or intrusion detection system in home automation now it is in the scale of a entire city so it is for safety and security of the people who are living in the city so this requires a large network of connected cameras in hundreds or maybe in thousands okay all these video feeds are aggregated in a cloud based storage and the uh, management people can search for specific patterns to detect different events and okay uh, emergency response so these iot system that is using the different sensors uh, can it can be used to monitor buildings gas water pipelines public transport and power substations and through, the, through all the data gathered and uh, data analytics alerts can be generated for mitigating okay disasters right so those are the applications in smart cities and next domain is environment so first application in the environment is weather monitoring so again different sensors uh, weather monitoring nodes will be deployed across uh, different areas and which are used to gather data and the data will be stored in cloud based storage and the data can be analyzed and visualized uh, with the help of applications either mobile, mobile applications or desktop applications and alerts can be sent to the subscribe users so next one is air pollution monitoring so uh, smoke detectors or uh, gas detectors can be uh, installed across different regions and the data from those sensors uh, can be aggregated and analyzed uh, for taking different decisions on pollution control approaches okay and next one is noise pollution monitoring so as with air pollution monitoring here uh, sound sensors or noise sensors can be installed again the sensors will be collecting data this data will be collected and analyzed for generating noise maps and based on this the personnel can take appropriate actions for reducing the noise and one more application is forest fire detection so sensors will be installed on the trees in a forest so if any fire breaks out the sensors will be sending the data to the gateway the gateway will be forwarding the data to internet and from internet the data will be stored in servers and the data will be analyzed here so based on that appropriate notifications will be sent to the uh, forest fire uh, detection and management system so appropriate people will take different measures for stopping the forest fire and uh, the notifications will come very quickly okay so the personnel uh, will be able to uh, stop the fire uh, within a few minutes to hours and last application in smart environment is river floods detection so the iot flood monitoring systems use different sensors for monitoring water level okay so data from these sensors is aggregated and stored and analyzed in the cloud so if there is any rapid increase in the water level appropriate alerts will be generated and sent to the government or uh, flood mitigation personnel okay 
so these are the different applications uh, in the smart environment domain and uh, some more domains are there uh, we'll be looking at those applications and those domains in the next session thank you